Okay guys, so we're going to have a look at Division 1. 91-92 was the last season before the Premier League was implemented. In this game, in this database, the Premier League will never be a thing. So we'll start with Arsenal, who are the defending Division 1 English champions. As you can see, I've got the accurate kits. George Graham, the manager. Tony Adams, captain. David O'Leary, vice captain. David Seaman, key player, hot prospect. Andy Cole. Let's just take a quick run through the clubs in Division 1. So that's Arsenal. Aston Villa. Chelsea. Coventry. Crystal Palace. Everton. Leeds. Liverpool, Luton, Man City, Man United, Norwich, Nottingham Forest, Notts County, Oldham, QPR, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, Southampton, Spurs, West Ham, and Wimbledon. So let's take a look at the squads. So here you have Arsenal, David Seaman, the legendary goalkeeper, Tony Adams. As you can see, I've got all full information for players and career histories. David O'Leary, Ian Wright. As you can see, I've got international histories as well. Kevin Campbell, Andy Cole, one of the hot young prospects in the game, Paul Merson, Ray Parler, David Rocastle, Alan Smith, of course we've already seen O'Leary and Adams, there is that legendary Arsenal defence, there's Steve Bold. Lee Dixon, Nigel Winterburn. Take a look at the reserves and the under 18s. And here's a really cool feature of the database. There's so much longevity in this game. We've added on players for 25 years that'll come into the game, and players will come into the youth systems. As you can see, the players that will come into the Arsenal youth systems or Arsenal youth system. Ashley Cole. You can see how many there are. The, the database really is so vast. The, the longevity of this game is incredible. So let's take a look at Aston Villa. Paul McGrath. Dwight York, only 19 years old. Huge potential. Tony Daly. Another youngster with huge potential, 18 year old Ugo Akiog. Steve Staunton. Dillian Atkinson. Cyril Regis. Reserves. Mark Bosnidge, only 19. See the players that will come into the Aston Villa youth system: Gabby Bondahor, Mark Albrighton, Gary Cahill, Lee Hendry, Duraz Vassell. Here's Chelsea, Graham Lasso, one of my favourite every player, ever players, Vin Vinnie Jones, Nuts Way, I'm a Leeds fan, 
against the 91-92 database. One of my least favourite players, Dennis Wise, but he is a good player. Andy Townsend. Jermaine Backford, another favourite of mine. Carlton Cole. John Terry. Coventry. Terry Butcher, the player manager. Bit of an England legend, you can see there, 77 caps. Paul Furlong, Peter Inlove, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace are quite strong in this. There's my favourite ever goalkeeper, Nigel Martin. Dean Gordon, Addie McGoldrick, Mark Bright, John Salako, Stan Collymore, 20 years old, lots of potential. Neville Southall, the legendary keeper. You'll notice I'm saying legendary a lot, but there really are a lot of legends in this game. Martin Keown, another one. Peter Beardsley, freshly signed from Merseyside Rivals, Liverpool. Tony Cotty, great striker. Averton on West Ham. Some good young players to join up later on. Victor and Ichibi. Michael Ball. Danny Catamartry. Michael Branch. And one of the Potentially best players in the game. There he is. Wayne Rooney. Very fresh faced. And now the 91 92 champions. My team. John Lukic, the Leeds keeper. Tony Dorigo. Gordon Strachan, the driving force of the team Gary McAllister a top class midfielder Lee Chapman and his strike partner Rod Wallace one of the best players in the game are Cantona so you even got his brother Joel in the game Gary Speed only 21 but already a great player by this point Similarly, David Boddy, 22. Noel Whelan. And Leeds have some great young players to come through. Scott Carson, the goalkeeper. Fabian Delph. Johnny Huizen, Harry Kuehl, Aaron Lennon, James Milner,
Paul Robinson. Holland Smith. Jonathan Woodgate. Ian Hart. So Liverpool's squad. This is a pretty strong squad too. Bruce Grabler, the goalkeeper. Steve McManaman, 19. Jan Malby. Jimmy Redknapp, only 18. And one of the best players in Division 1, John Barnes. One of the best strikers, Ian Rush. Ronnie Whelan. Liverpool have some good young players too. Dominic Mario. Jamie Carragher. Robbie Fowler. Steven Gerrard. Michael Owen. Luton. I believe this was Luton's last season in the top flight. Although they're in a position at the minute where they could, could get promoted, which would be incredible because I think a few years ago they were in the conference. Mark Pambridge. John Hartson. Matthew Upson. <clears throat> Man City. Not quite the powerhouse they are today. Not quite the financial powerhouse. <laughs> but still a pretty good team. David White. Peter Reid, the player manager. Keith Curl. Colin Hendry. Tony Coton. Niall Quinn, very good striker, good target man. Joey Barton, less said the better. Michael Brown. Stephen Ireland. Maybe he can help Michael Johnson reach the potential he never did. Daniel Sturridge. Jasper Schmeichel. You can see favourite personnel, Peter Schmeichel, his father. Peter Schmeichel, of course, at Man United. So we'll just take a wee look at Peter Schmeichel here. One of the best goalkeepers in the game. Look at the rest of my United squad. I hate to say it, but there's some great players here. Steve Bruce. His centre-back partner, Gary Pallister. Dennis Irwin, one of the best fullbacks in the game, right or left. Lee Sharp. Paul Ince. Veteran midfielder, Brian Robson. On the opposite end of the scale, Ryan Giggs, only 17. Crazy. Andrea Kinchalskis. Look at that pace. Brian McClure. Mark Hughes. Then if we look at the reserves and under 18s, you'll start to see this is class of 92. Gary Neville. 
Robbie Savage, David Beckham, Paul Scholes, and this young lad, Adrian Doherty, the tragic figure of the classes, class of 92, he was a player by all accounts, had great potential, but his career was ruined by injuries, and I believe he met, he died pretty young, pretty tragically as well. Phil Neville. Keith Gillespie. Nicky Butt. And of course, Man United have a lot of players that come into the youth system. Wes Brown. Donnie Drinkwater. David Healy. If you can't tell by my accent, I'm from here where David Healy is a legend. And of course, the fact that he played for Leeds as well doesn't harm him. Norwich. Chris Sutton, only 18. Jeremy, Jeremy Goss, who I recall scoring an absolute screamer of a volley at Allen Road. Real Fox. Brian Gunn, the goalkeeper, who, if I remember correctly, had an absolutely blinding match against was it Bayern Munich in the UEFA Cup a couple of seasons after this? Tim Sherwood. Adi Akambay. Jamie Curitan. Rob Green. Craig Bellamy, Danny Mills, Nottingham Forest, who are very strong in this game. It's hard to believe they got relegated the next season because they've got some cracking players here. Stuart Pierce. A very young Roy Keane. Ian Wone. Another very young Steve Stone. Nigel Clough. Son of manager Brian, of course, but he was also he was a good player. Teddy Sheringham, very good player. Des Walker. Paul McGregor. Michael Dawson. Andy Reid. David Prutton, aka Jesus. Jermaine Janus or Genus I said Janus Sean Wright Phillips who actually started his career in the Nottingham Forest Academy Notts County Paul Wrightout Tommy Johnson Mark Draper, Jermaine Pennant, O. 
Oldham. Graham Sharpa. Everton legend. He just left Everton. Connor Haller. Click on him because he played for Leeds. What better reason could there be? Ditto Richard Jobson. QPR. Veteran midfielder Ray Wilkins. Who has had a pretty incredible career. Look at that. Chelsea, Man United, Milan, PSG, Rangers. Les Ferdinand, great striker. Danny Diccio, or Diccio, I say Diccio. Nigel Quasi, Peter Crouch, Sheffield United, Brian Dean. Ian Whitehouse, John Pemberton, you can see Kyle Walker to come through the youth system at Bramall Lane, Phil Jagielka. Sheffield Wednesday. You'll notice there's a lot of derbies in the first division this this season. Chris Woods, the England goalkeeper, just signed from Rangers. Viv Anderson, very experienced defender. One of my favourite ever players, John Sheridan. That's why. One of my least favourite ever players, Carlton Palmer. Chris Bart Williams, only 17. Trevor Francis, the player manager, and the first ever £1 million player in British football. When he left Nottingham, F no sorry, he joined Nottingham Forest from Birmingham for £1.2 million. David Hurst. Gordon Watson. Great diver, so he is great diver. Actually, no, he's a terrible diver, but it worked. Southampton. Southampton are actually pretty strong looking in this. They've got some great players. Look no further than 20 year old Alan Shearer. Definitely one to keep an eye on. You might want to sign. Another one you might want to try and sign, Matt Letizia. Hello, nobody ever managed it in real life. Can you lure him away from the Dell? Only 23. Great player. Cracking player, absolute crackers person, if you follow his Twitter. Neil Ruddock, Tim Flowers, very good goalkeeper. Chris Bird, a very fresh-faced Garth Bale will eventually join up with Southampton. Wayne Bridge, Mo 
Matt Oakley. Theo Walcott. Spurs. Another strong squad. Young goalkeeper, Ian Walker. Gary Lineker. What a striker. And what a career. Paul Gascoigne. This was his last season at Spurs. I believe he was actually injured for the entirety of this season, but I've decided not to add injuries like that in because more will be the fun in that. Gary Mobbitt. 17 year old Nick Barnby. Stephen Carr in the under 18s. Saul Campbell, 16 years old. Ledley King. Jack Livermore. West Ham. West Ham were relegated this season. And they don't have a particularly strong squad. Although it's not terrible. Ludwig McClosco, the goalkeeper. Alvin Martin. Martin Allen. Trevor Morley, who was a good striker. Danny Ship, who you might wonder why I'm clicking on him, but it's because I remember in the mid 90s he had a loan spell at my hometown team, Glenavon, in the Northern Irish League, and he was incredible at that level. Matt Holland, Scott Canham, wasn't he supposed to be better than Frank Lampard? I think somebody said that once. Speaking of which, eventually West Ham will sign Fat Frank, I mean Frank Lampard. And actually they have some great youngsters to come through. Jimmy Bullard. Joe Cole, Michael Carrick, Rio Ferdinand, and finally Wimbledon, Robbie Earl. The very aggressive John Fashionu, who I believe his brother is in the game as well. Yeah, he's at Torquay. Pretty crazy career. But you can see the depth of information that I've gone to and put in, putting in the game. John Scales. Warren Barton. Chris Parry, only 18. Terry Phelan. Jason Newell. Steve Finnan. Carl Court. Nigel Rio Cooker. So you can see also we've added extensive staff into the game. Ray Harford, the manager of Wimbledon. Joe Kinnear's there. Arsenal. George Graham. Pat Rice. Stuart Houston. Villa. Ron Atkinson, the manager. Under Deadly Doug Ellis. Chelsea under the chairmanship of my least favourite person in football history, Ken Bates. 
Ian Porterfield, the manager. Coventry. Steve Koppel in charge of Crystal Palace. The legendary Hard Candle at Everton. Leeds managed by Hard Wilkinson. Graham Souness at Liverpool. David Pleat at Luton. Alex Ferguson, of course, at Man United. Brian Kidd as his assistant. Eric Harson, the legendary coach of that class of 92. Brian Clough at Nottingham Forest. Neil Warnock at Notts County. Joe Royal at Oldham. Jerry Francis at QPR. Dave Bassett at Sheffield United. And Terry Venables, the director of football at Spurs. Peter Shreves, the manager, with Alan Sugar, the chairman. So that'll do it for Division 1. Just a quick note. Um, a lot of people have asked me about why this database is for Football Manager 2016. The reason's simple. It took me five years to make. It's been an incredible amount of time and an incredible amount of effort. Um, maybe at some point I'll try and update it for our more current Football Manager. But for me, it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's actually kind of happenstance that Football Manager 2016 is, is quite perfect for it. Because um, cons our subsequent Football Managers are very social media heavy which doesn't really work with this database so um yeah i made this i made this database for me at the end of the day and i really enjoy it i'm happy to share it and i hope others enjoy it and i really suggest you do because it's if i do say so myself it's an incredible database um, and it's a lot of fun and it's, as you see the amount of players that will come into the end of the game later it has a great longevity so i think maybe for my next video i'll i'll holiday for a few years and, sh and take a look at, at what things look like in the future so thanks for watching and uh, i hope you download the database and load up your old football manager 2016 hope you enjoy it and let me know thanks